paying for this my whole life. The fairest wifely choice is to be right here in this room. My daughters are trained for battle, sir. <laughs> Not the kitchen. Harry. A woman must have a thorough knowledge of singing, dancing, and the art of war. And I I shall never relinquish my sword for a ring. Never comes the right man, you would. So, Michelle, what is your sort of favorite version of Pride and Prejudice? Is it the book, the BBC miniseries, or the Pride, film? Prejudice, and Zombies? Man. <laughs> oh, okay. I know, I know, I know, I know, yeah. I, well, oh God, it's hard, I, isn't it? I love the original BBC series. Yeah, of Colin, just Firth. Just Colin Firth, Firth so brilliant. And, mm -hmm. and there's something, it's, I mean, there's something, I mean, not to just that, you know, Joe did an amazing job on his version as well, but I think there was, oh, there's just a quintessential Britishness about that series. <laughs> I grew up watching there? it with my mum, you know, yeah, mum yeah. it, so it's kind of ingrained in us. And Firth coming out of the water is like, you know, as a straight man, it's, uh, <laughs> it's, 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 it's a very troubling experience. <laughs> I'm interested, uh, how, how much does, does your version of, of these characters compare to the book versions or to previous versions? How much do you look at those previous versions? We, I, I didn't re revisit it. I, I, ne I never think that's mm -hmm. particularly uh, useful. I think sure. in a scene you should be have active imagination and be reacting to things that are happening there rather than thinking about someone else's performance. You know, you know How would I feel standing in front of mm. this girl that I'm just instantly in love with and her, her mother and all her sisters? You, know, like, you, you want to be present, mm. and I think... Yeah. Parking back to, rather than being in the past. But that, that said, I th the book was a really good source for me. Mm -hmm. The original book. Sure. Um, I got a lot of sort of ideas about him as a character from that. It's it's fl flavored with lovely detail, and I sort of picked you what in particular? Out. Just the fact that he loved food and scones mm -hmm. and muffins, <laughs> and he was quite greedy, and that his sense of manners are really important to him, and his sense of decorum is really important to him, and you know you can just sort of get to know your character in a much mm -hmm. more detailed way and then you can pick and choose the bits Which you want to use. great, yeah, I think for you, you kind of took all those things and then just peppered it with, you know, yeah. peppered it into improvisation around. Yeah, sort of know. mix it all up. I mean, tone is key here. I mean, there's sort of this yeah. mix of comedy and horror. How does that affect your guys' performances? I mean, I suppose you have to trust your director, I suppose, sure. to, to lead you through that. And he kind of always said, you know, we're not going to wink at the camera. You know, mm -hmm. it's not like Shaun of the Dead, and that's the sense. It's not winking at the camera, but play it straight, and the circumstances are make it quirky and hilarious. Sure. Um, uh, yeah, and I think it allows you to be slightly bolder because having having zombies turn up in any movie shifts the tone of it slightly, yeah. and I think you can be slightly bigger characters. Mm -hmm. Or maybe I'm just a cartoon actor. <laughs> I think that's probably what it is. Uh, I mean, you killed. The true. scones bit is hilarious. I, it's <laughs> another scone. <laughs> so it's one of my favorite moments. So. Uh, what, what was the most memorable moment from shooting this movie for you both? Um, well, you know, we say what, what was a real virtue of this movie is that we're all pals. And, mm -hmm. and um, so coming to work every day was a laugh because we're mates sort of on and off screen. And there was a good energy. So we just... So each day was kind of groovy. Yeah, um, it was a joy. It was a joy to come to work every day. I had a fun day when I did my scene with Lily, proposing to her. Sure. Getting rejected. That was kind of funny. <laughs> is that something you're used to, or is that like? Well, no, yeah, damn I, it. Matt, Matt's never gets, <laughs> yeah, never, never gets so. rejected. For God's sake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was. Um, <clears throat> yeah, Quite it a shock was, to the system. It was boy. A, It was an absolute travesty. <laughs> <laughs> Not once, but twice. <laughs> <laughs> well, this movie makes sort of explicit the social commentaries of the book with sort of the peasants as the zombies. Mm. How timely do you feel like this movie is to, to now? Um, well, I think there's going to be a zombie apocalypse soon, isn't there? <laughs> <laughs> um, um, yeah, no, it, I really think the zom the, the, the adding zombies to this story really accentuates the original themes, mm -hmm. you know, and, try and kind of highlights the, some of the social commentary that... Um, Austin, you know, was going for back in the, the day. The class system sure. comes under scrutiny, doesn't it? I think. Yeah. It's funny, isn't it, how there is a there is a real class system in England, more so than there is in America. Mm -hmm. I think I've noted. Yeah. Um, and yeah, the poor old zombies are at the the lower end of it. I say I think we should embrace them and talk to them and try and understand them. Frankly, <laughs> I'm on Wickham's side. Yeah. <laughs> that makes sense. Well, thanks, guys, so much. Oh, absolutely. Good to meet you. We were born to be wild.